But he is not something, but he's someone. And holy indicates that he's holy within himself. Holy Spirit. Now, some places in the authorized, it's translated ghost. As it was in those days, the word spirit was called ghost, but it didn't mean ghost in the sense that we mean ghost today. Some film out of Hollywood in which a ghost comes along. The spirit is used in contrast to that which is flesh and material. Now, the Bible teaches that the Holy Spirit is co-equal with God the Father and God the Son. There is a trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and no one can explain. It's like the little boy, that, or the little girl that was in her classroom, and she was about in the third or fourth grade, and they asked, how many of you can explain electricity? And one little girl lifted up her hand, and the teacher said, all right, but what is electricity? And the little girl thought for a moment, bit her lip, and she said, I forgot. And, she, and the teacher said, well, that's too bad because you're the only one that ever knew. <laughs> now, the Bible teaches that the Holy Spirit is omnipotent. The word omnipotent means all-powerful. In Micah 3.8, it says, I'm full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. And then the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is present everywhere at the same time. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? said the psalmist in 139.7. You can't go anywhere and get away from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. And that's the reason when you have a sense of guilt put there by the Holy Spirit many times, that guilt will go with you even if you travel to a faraway island trying to get rid of it. The Holy Spirit convicting you of sin. The Holy Spirit bears witness to Jesus Christ who is the truth. One young man remarked who had been converted to Christ, to induce spirituality by taking drugs is like trying to turn on your TV set by kicking it. And many people do that. I found out that it'll work sometimes. So that's not a very good illustration. But there are those that think that because of drugs or some trance or some hypnotism that they can have the same experience that you have with the Holy Spirit is wrong. It's false. You cannot. Oh, yes, there's um, meditation and there are all kinds of things that can give you a high. But the real permanent high comes from the Holy Spirit. And he gives you a high even in your low moments. And some of you that are watching by television have been convicted by the Holy Spirit. And you need Christ. He's trying to draw you tonight to crawl to the cross of Christ where that sin can be forgiven. And there's a telephone number on your screen now that you can call and a counselor is standing by now to answer your questions and to help you to make that commitment to Christ or to talk to you about whatever problems you may have in your life. Now the Holy Spirit not only convicts but he gives new life. The Bible says that we're dead in sin. Do you realize that you're a walking dead person? You're dead toward God. You're spiritually dead. Your soul is dead. Your spirit is dead. Your body is alive, but you're dead. The real you is dead. Now, what needs to be done for a dead person? He needs to be made alive. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit, to make you alive. Jesus said you must be born again. And that word actually means to be made born from above. Born from above, born by the Spirit of God. You see, man without God is dead. 